the differential. And we want to ask the question, what are these two quantities? How do we know what they are? This should be particularly bothersome to you because as, as you've already experienced in 560, there are a lot of partial derivatives. There are a lot of variables. There are a lot of things held constant. It's easy to get lost in this sea of quantities, which none of which have obvious meaning. So now what we're going to do is start to extract what uh, these things mean. OK, so for a constant volume process, we can write du, partial derivative of u with respect to t at constant v dt, plus partial derivative of u at constant v dv. OK, for constant volume, this is 0. So this term is gone, and we rewrite this du v is equal to du dt at constant v dt v. So we have a, a change in temperature done at constant volume, and we have a change in internal energy done at constant volume, and we rearrange this, and we discover that du d t at constant v is equal to uh, du dt at constant v. It's the right dqv is equal to the partial derivative of t constant v dt v. OK, and now we know the relationship between we're, uh, between heat and a temperature change is given by a quantity, a heat capacity at, for a particular path, and here it is. So what we've discovered from this relationship that du at constant volume is equal to dqv, we have discovered that this partial derivative that appears in the definition, the abstract definition of the differential for internal energy is just equal to the constant volume heat capacity. du is equal to Cv dt plus partial of u with respect to volume at constant temperature dv. So We've simplified the expression by replacing one of the partial derivatives by a quantity that we can measure. And we'd like to know what about this?